Hey, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. Well, here we are again back in the book of Colossians. And we're going to pick up at verse 11, where the Apostle Paul says, Strengthen with all might according to his glorious power for all patience and long suffering with joy. And so remember, the context of what Paul is talking about is his prayer for these believers at Colossae. And the overarching theme of this prayer is for the Colossian believers to mature in Christ by being filled with the Holy Spirit. You see, because it's only by the Holy Spirit and his working in us and through us that we continue to mature until we put on our glorified bodies, which will complete our process of sanctification, culminating in what? Glorification. And so until that point, what does Paul say? Hallelujah. What does Paul say in his prayer? Paul says in his prayer that he wants these believers at Colossae to be strengthened with all might. So what does it mean to be strengthened with all might? Well, you know, when you lift weights, hallelujah, when you lift weights, when you do your bench presses, when you do your squats, if you do them, well, there has to be some type of tearing down of the muscle in order for the muscle to be stronger. And so what happens with us in our spiritual life? Well, we have to deny ourselves. We have to tear down ourselves, right? We have to deny ourselves, tear down ourselves in order that Christ may be built up in us, which is what God told us to do. If we want to be his disciple, we have to deny ourselves, break down that muscle, break down that flesh, right? And then we have to pick up our cross. We have to be clothed with him, right? Because Christ is the one who was crucified on the cross. And guess what? We're crucified with him. Nevertheless, we live. Yet not I, but it's Christ who lives in us, right? And so we're strengthened with his might after we deny ourselves. This is Paul's prayer for the believers at Colossae, that they be strengthened with all might, according to what? According to his glorious power. You see, because the same power that raised Christ from the dead is the same power that gives life unto our mortal bodies, Hallelujah, which is the Holy Spirit, because guess what? The joy of the Lord is our strength, right? You see, so it's all about being filled with the Holy Spirit that comes upon all believers mightily, just like the Holy Spirit came upon Samson in the Old Testament. You read that in Judges chapter 14, right? In Judges chapter 14, where Samson gave the riddle and the people figured it out because they threatened his, uh, his bride, and what happened? The Bible says that the spirit came upon Samson mightily, right? So the same spirit that was at work in the Old Testament is the same spirit, the Holy Spirit, which is at work today. But now the indweller dwells in all believers. And so Paul's prayer is that we will be filled, okay, to the full, that we will be strengthened with all might according to his glorious power, not according to our needs, not in according to our proportion of, proportion of needs, but according to God's, <laughs> according to God's power. Hallelujah. So whatever God says goes, however he gives out, he gives out, okay, in proportion to what he has already declared. And so what does God want? What does God want from every believer? Well, Paul continues that uh, we would have this glorious power to be strengthened with all might. Why? For all patience and long suffering with joy. You see, so these are all fruits of the Spirit. Okay, patience and long suffering with joy. We need to have the Holy Spirit in order to walk this walk. Hallelujah. We need to be filled to the full so that we can walk this walk. We need the Holy Spirit to strengthen us so that we can have patience. So that when we go to work, we can have patience on our job. When we go to the store. We could have patience with the people that we deal with. When we go to church, we could have patience uh, with uh, other believers. When we're at home with our wife, our kids, our husband, if you're a woman, uh, we could have patience with our spouses, right? So we need patience because with this patience and long suffering, it has to come with what? With joy. You see, 
you got a lot of Christians who are sour saints. <laughs> They've been uh, sucking on too many jawbreakers, right? Too many sour apple jawbreakers. And they have these, you know, they, they walk around with a pouty face. But no, we need to have the joy of the Lord. And so, yes, this life may wear us down. Okay, yes, this life is hard. Yes, this life has trials and tribulations. But God told us what? He told us to be of good cheer, right? Christ told us to be of good cheer. Why? Because he's overcome the world. And because he's overcome the world, we also overcome the world. And how? The Bible tells us in 1 John, this is how we overcome the world, by our faith, right? By our faith. So because of his amazing grace poured upon us, we're saved, and in the process, we believe, hallelujah, we've responded in faith. And so now as we walk this walk of faith, the Apostle Paul has prayed for us, hallelujah, that we will be strengthened with all might. Because not only is he talking to the believers at Colossae, he's talking to us in his prayer. We are strengthened with all might according to his glorious power so that we can have patience and long suffering with joy. Hallelujah. We need to have this joy. Hallelujah. In the midst of these trials and tribulations, in the midst of all this mess that goes on on our right and on our left, and above us and behind us and below us, surrounded all around us, nothing but mess. But guess what? <laughs> Even though we walk through the shadow of the valley of death, we fear no evil because we know that God is with us. His rod and his staff, he comforts us and he leads us. Hallelujah. And as he leads us, guess what's behind us? Goodness and mercy is following us all the days of our life. So how can we not have joy? <laughs> Hallelujah. We have joy even through the midst of all these problems. Because God, who works in us through the power of the Holy Spirit, has strengthened us to have this patience, that patient endurance. Hallelujah. Preach patience. That patient endurance with long suffering. You see, because it's all his work, right? It's all the work of our Father in heaven. And so if you need a fresh and a new anointing, if you need a filling, if you need the quickening, if you need the quickening, right? Jesus told us, you know, if we know how to give good gifts unto our children, how much more will the Father, if we ask him, give us the Holy Spirit. He'll give us a fresh and a new anointing. Okay, we're sealed with the Holy Spirit, but uh, because of the trials and tribulations in life, and, you know, we get down and out, you know, the power of the Holy Spirit is quenched, right? And so ask God for a quickening. <laughs> if, if, if you feel that the Holy Spirit isn't being activated, <laughs> you know, they got this saying nowadays, Holy Spirit activated. Well, if you feel that the Holy Spirit isn't being activated in your life, if you, you, if you feel a loss of connection, if you don't feel that communion, if you ain't got the joy of the Lord, okay, well, ask the Father, hey, Father, in the name of Jesus, I need a quickening. I, I need a fresh and a new anointing. Ask him, and he'll give you a fresh and a new anointing, okay? Well, the Holy Spirit, he has seven spirits, right? Okay, so he has more than enough because there's no limit to him. He's God to give you a fresh and a new anointing, to quicken you, okay, to give you that strength, hallelujah, to give you that patience with joy and long suffering in the process of all the things that you may be going through in life right now. He'll do it according to his glorious power because what? You're his child and oh, how he loves you. So ask him today and I'm praying on your behalf that it's already done. Because what? We walk by faith and not by sight. So until we speak again, I see you here, I see you there, or I see you in the air. Maranatha, amen.